Hey guys, you ready for episode number 44? Because I know I am. Back to the lab we go, and hopefully we get some clues to find Leviathan, the Rogue Reaper. Uh, as you can see, I was doing some exploring. Found a couple of war assets, some credits, a bunch of fuel. I actually ran out of fuel at one point, and in this game, if you run out of fuel, it just uh, returns you right away to the mass relay system, and you have to go buy more fuel. So that answers that mystery, at least. Alright. Dr. Bryson's lab, here we go. Once more into the breach. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. S so stupid. I'm sure he didn't take it too seriously. He obviously loved her. He had a picture of them uh, in his room. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. <laughs> he was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still I am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. And you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. Space. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. That was a cool little scene. Kitty is not wearing her uh, usual uniform, I guess, because it's a special area and not mission area. What was that? I saw something over here, I thought. Maybe not. Okay. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. <laughs> your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a arachnid drone waiting for orders from the Queen. Wonder if... well, I guess it can't, but they were... but it's good they took precautions. But yeah, I guess, uh... A little piece like this can indoctrinate you. Maybe a dead reaper can, but so it'd be good to know how they do that still, because we I guess that's I guess that's why they need the organic material maybe from the harvesting. Oh, I guess we're gonna go through a tour of her office. You studied the rachni? 
his office. I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Interesting. What if that's how the other Reapers do it, too? Do they use these hey, artifacts? Commander. Could we... Need a hand? Oh, hey, James. What are you doing here? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Guess that makes Unless sense. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. <laughs> you said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi QEC effect. I see. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that uh -huh. dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. Most people hate dying anywhere. And I know this is hard. If there's anything more you can tell us. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. That's true. I guess he did murder her father. Commander, that this thing difficult. we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I guess I'm ready. If she tries anything. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. What if it controls James? Wait. There's something. I guess she spent more time with him, with the artifacts. I feel a chill. So it'll do for her Edie? instead. No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain Keep connection. saying that, but what does it mean? Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There's no war. There's only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. Oh, I see. I thought this we would happen. Enough. I'm hitting the shield. Yeah, do the shield. We'll search if we have to. I'm not going to risk her life. Anne. Anne, are you all right? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes, but it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. It's a start. 
Commander. Wonder how many systems there are. I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. Fortunately, I can be very persuasive. I have to talk him out of that. All right. So, we probably have a couple locations. I guess they'll be on the galaxy map. We're getting a lot of credits too. More than five hundred thousand. All right, to the Normandy. Yeah, I don't know if I should, like, RP-wise, should I have rested a little bit longer to narrow location a little bit? Because the time I spend here is time I could spend helping the war. It's a tough call. It's one of those things I really can't make because I don't know how long it takes to use a mass relay. In all likelihood, I probably should have waited a little bit longer stop James from hitting the button but yeah she's been through enough we have the information we need no reason to put her through any more pain no compelling reason at least all right let's begin our search then I guess this is probably the last mission in the uh, DLC then we have to be getting close to this point. It was a really well done piece of content, though. I'm very happy. Alright. So, oh, so we can be in any system. Okay. They really do make you search. That's pretty cool. Could he be around a gas giant? I found something. The Reapers can come here, so. This could be him, it could be nothing. Let's search. Uh, extremely thin atmosphere. It's cool how they really used. Nope, no evidence. So, what did I find then? Should have got some salvage or something. This is nice. Dryer. Dextro Chivalry Native Life has yet to make it out of the oceans. Hmm. Handful of Turians. They need a good topsoil. If you can last five seasons, you officially know what you're doing. Huh. The Reapers judge this population too low to harvest and struck the colonies with kinetic impastors. Oh. So that is something uh, interesting about uh, xenobiology. I had a friend who took a course in xenobiology and I was really jealous of her because that would be an amazing course. I would have loved that. I just didn't have the room in my schedule for it. I got some rations. Could be useful for the Turians and all. But now we need to get out of the planet, I think. Out of the system, I mean. Reapers eluded. Alright. Let's go over here next. But, um, Shirori, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I don't think I am, but uh, is the direction, it's actually hard to explain in words, because I really don't know what I'm talking about. Signal confirmed. But it's like the direction something orbits in like an atomic level, or a chemical level at least. Um, but basically, it's the reason... Sorry, I'm multitasking here. Uh, all life. Ooh. Scans reveal a faint trace of the lines there. Well, that was lucky. We already found it. Um, I'll finish my story first, though. Uh, it's Anyway, all life on Earth has the same chivalry. That's, we, it's just a 50-50 chance we all evolve with the same thing. Um, but an interesting idea is that alien life could have easily flipped the coin and gone the other way. And in which case we'd probably have completely different food sources because uh, the different chivalry would prevent you from digesting any kind of food made from plants or animals of the opposite type. So it seems like Mass These Effect reflects that idea. Our trace of Leviathan. Um, and it seems to be with... Uh, I guess, that, is that why Turians and Quarians can't eat our food? Or is that something on a macroscopic level? 
All right. Um, we'll take James. See his new appearance, and uh, who would you want to take to meet a Reaper? Actually, I'm not gonna take James. I'll bring him later, but he really can't offer any good commentary, I don't think. It's probably I tell you, it's between these three, Edie, Liara, and Javik. Let's take Edie. Who do we have last time? Edie and Javik. Let's do the RNG. Good enough. Cortez. What's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. Pretty spooky stuff. Given the circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters, never to be trusted. Well, I don't know if I would trust it, but we could definitely use it. This is kind of going off of Cortez's commentary, spooky stuff, but I really can actually explain it using science and how, I mean, obviously it's kind of junk science, or at least um, postulatory science, but it's still cool that it's, they use science in a way that makes things like a spooky horror kind of deal. Anyway, um... Yeah, we're not making friends. Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. Must be an old and powerful You're Reaper, too. Lie. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. I probably should have read the bio of this planet. Wow, that's cool. Maybe on the way out, I will. The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. I guess we're going to find out. Uh -oh. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Alrighty. I've survived far worse, Commander. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Spoiler. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. Alright, before we do that, I actually do want to look at the codex. Um, uh, where would it be? Trips of vehicles, plants and locations. I want to learn about this planet, because... Jellix, the second planet in the Arai system, is a marginally habitable world, of an unremarkable world located far from regularly traveled trade routes. Don't want any of these places. Technology. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effects. Hmm. Non sapient creatures? Thresher maws are. Okay, it's here somewhere. Non-council races, I guess. No. From ashes, Omega. All right, I'm just gonna look up a little wiki because that'll be faster. I don't want to waste any more time. So it's called Dispoinia. Disponia. All right, let's see. This planet was only spotted recently by human space probes, and no records indicate it has been explored since. Scans indicate it is covered in an ocean of liquid water and has a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere. It is highly likely to have at least some photosynthetic life. Huh. 
Dysponia is a goddess of the Eleusian mysteries in Greek mythology. Anyway, it doesn't explain what the wreckage is, but I thought it might. And I don't know what, uh... That codex entry was on Leviathan. Council races... No. Plants and locations. If, this isn't, if it isn't here, we'll just ignore it. No, it's not here. All right. Look at all this. Short detour. Whatever that pulse was, we're not the first to get hit. I see. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Or his first. That's kind of cool, though. So all these things are. This is a big ship. I'm surprised the thing floats, actually. Or maybe maybe the seas are shallow. That's more likely. This is a place of death. Those ships look like they've been drifting for years. Probably not fifty thousand years, though. These like early Asari or Turian ships, maybe? I don't because 50,000 years, I think the waves would erode the place, probably, wouldn't they? I mean, they estimate the Titanic will be gone in about 100 years. That's under the ocean, and obviously made of earlier materials. Data pad logs from Adam Brooks. Well, it appears to be written in English, so apparently, yeah, it's, it's recent, which makes sense. The hull will hold, that's what they say. Whatever god watches over Ezo prospectors came through for us. Okay, it's a prospector ship. Despite a hell of a smack in the water landing, the S MVS Monarch displaces through air enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful we're alive. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. Big puzzle? What downed us in the first place? Kunshin says it wasn't lightning. It was some kind of pulse. A directed energy weapon seems likely, but where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic. The whole bloody ocean is silent. Came from under the ocean, you idiot. Tonight, the techs are going to try routing the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thrusters firing. If all goes well, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. I guess all didn't go well. Wonder if the Reapers will be coming here, or if they got enough data from the other beacon, or if we'll be facing just Leviathan himself. Survey data. So I guess the ship does float, though. Shepard, Lots of wreckage. It's one of the artifacts. Explains why no one gets oh. up. up there. Here Reapers, he comes. They were right behind us. Or maybe the shuttle. All right. About to say this did look like an area that you would be fighting something at. For a second there, I thought that was Leviathan. But I guess there's more than one. I just see one. But the fact that it's deploying these guys suggests it's a regular Reaper. I just want to say too, it's kind of weird that we haven't seen, I guess it's not weird, Harvest, uh, Harbinger yet. But um, I guess they just assumed you to know him well enough in the second game to make him a big enemy. Start charts there. So I was kind of wondering if maybe the Elusive now would even become your final enemy. But if he's indoctrinated, it seems unlikely. I really love that, though. That, that explains why Cerberus has changed so much. There, it really does make sense if he was studying Reaper technology so, so closely. I really hope we get to find out more about indoctrination, too. I really want to know how that works. But, uh, what was I saying? I was going to say this area reminds me of Mercata Prime in uh, KOTOR. The idea of all the ships crashing all over the years. Alright. But yeah, I guess they, they said, did say Harbinger was sighted in the invasion of Earth. So he's probably going to be there during the final battle. And I guess he hasn't left since. I mean, some Reapers do have to stay there to keep fighting. I don't have my wood ammo activated. Give us some cover fire. Copy that. I'm on it. Any more of those guys? Something's over there. Lots of loot here.
Oh, you can destroy the artifact. Do I want to, though? I might drive them off. I might do it. This is dangerous anyway. They're just going to keep doing the pulses, too, until we find a way to stop it. Hey, buddy. I really want to see what's interesting about, interesting about Leviathan. Like, even just a Rogue Reaper would be interesting, but... I need some at the shop. Yeah, I'm starting to think, would the Reapers go out of their way? Unless he was, like, a very powerful Reaper. But they might, because, I mean, what else do they have to do? they got to get him one of these cycles. How long have they... I mean, he killed one... They said millions of years ago. So that's at least 20 cycles. He's probably got very good at hiding from them. But in trying to defend himself, he, uh... He inadvertently gave himself away through those signals. Okay, we're clear. Is the ship not going anywhere? Is that the development? What's that? Pistol of flight materials. That, that's pretty cool. Hopefully there's higher grades of it though. Can I go up here? I can't. Wow. Were they shipping these things? There's artifacts everywhere. I feel like we get to go in there in a bit. Let's keep going to Cortez though. Maybe we have to steal one of the shuttles inside. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. We aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. That sounds fun. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded it, you should be good to go. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this <laughs> far. Let's finish this. It's a long way Didn't sound very convincing. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. Time's wasted. Wait a minute. Are we seriously considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? It's a PSPR. These old Ballard class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. I may have zoomed out during that part. Alright. So, power cell. So he's giving me power cells. And I have to take it to the power socket. And if I get hit, oh I see, power level charging. Okay, so it looks like we probably need three of them. You say that, but, see, then I just get hit if I don't watch myself. So I gotta watch my own back here. Alright, there we go. How's your missile launcher? We'll get that later. What a... This reminds me of something. Can't remember what. Power oh, you have to be quick about it. So if I'm not quick, I might need to get a fourth one. I'm just gonna hurry. Cargo doors are opening, Commander. Yeah, you guys are not doing too good against those brutes. Oh jeez, they're dying again. 
I guess okay. Chill. Sure. I can get in this thing. Maybe I can fight the uh, Reaper ads with it. Fire slowly, but it does a crap ton of damage. Can't move with it though. But I can fire missiles. His name is still alive. Javik. Can't raise the R though. Looks like we're in the clear now, Commander. Good. I need to get in the water before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. Might be an achievement for blowing up all those. How do they find these things though? Mining easy though, and they came across them, I guess? They must have came across a collection of them. Like, all in the same place, because what are the chances? I can't see my legs. Alright, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Commander, risk is rarely a hindrance. But this plan, even I would We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna say not yet. I want to take a look around first. Come back when you're ready. <laughs> None of them question that at all. Like, seriously, Commander. Um, we have to go. But no, I am going to cut the episode though, because I'm not sure how much more there is to go, and I don't want it to be incredibly long. So I will see you guys in a couple minutes. <laughs>